Hello everybody. Welcome to Shubhangi's Coding World and a Magical World. So today we are going to create teaching app real time part two. So in the part one we have designed all these screens, and today we are going to do the code. Okay, with data using data tables. Okay. So now uh, let us start. Okay, without any further delay. So I am on my teach screen. Okay, and I'm going to see the idea of the click button, button five. Okay, so I want that if I want to send a message, then I want to save it as a data table. Okay, so how to do it? Go in data under UI controls, click here, create data table. Okay, I'm going to name it teachers message or anything you want, or just teacher. And this name you have to put what will be what the user user the student should get. So here I'm going to do get text input from text input three. Okay, so it will save it text input three. Okay, now here you uh, you can just leave this. Okay, now go in the learn screen. Now I want that if we click receive, then we want to read this teacher call. So on event, this button nine clicked. Then read records teacher. Go in data and uh, put this read records. Okay, so it's a big. Don't remove any of that. Okay, just don't remove it. Type here teacher, and we don't want to show the message in console log, right? We want to show in text area three. So go here, put set text, and text area three. What text? Okay, just put whatever it is there here. Okay. Yep, like this. So remove this. Now let's and here name give it teacher. Okay. So now let's just test. So I will duplicate it so that it can be two windows. Okay. So in first one, start on just teach. I'm going to click on. And in the second window, run, start, and learn. Okay. So I am going to come here and write hello, student. Click on the send button. So it should create a record table. And here I am going to click on read records. Okay. So this error is coming. Yeah, so I got the arrow. We have to remove this block, okay? And I'll just keep this. I'll do in text, okay? So what you have to do? Just do show text. Copy this and remove the plus and the space, okay? And then add a bracket. 
okay the space tech now let's see i think the error should all be solved now okay i'll just close it and duplicate this one so that it can be refreshed also so run okay and i'm here to teach yeah i'll just write this sophia 2333 here i have to log in just loan okay wait there is a error yeah wait wait you have to write your name okay sorry for the error everybody so i uh, forgot that it should be name so i'll just do again okay and here i will log in as a student see so as you saw it was dear time okay so i'm going to write here hello okay bye bye and give one send and here receive to wait hello bye bye so i'm just going to show you this read records again because it did a little bit of you know um, error so all you have to do you have to go in data get a read records block okay and then go in ui controls and we want to set text on text area 3 right so text area 3 and there we just put this thing over in text remove this console log okay and there you go and don't forget to rename this to teacher okay my table to teacher okay yep yeah. so now let's uh, do that for our student also okay and after we have done that our game is complete okay so on event button 8 which is the send button for the uh, you know student button 8 clicks but then we want to create another record as name as student okay and what should be its name okay put your get text text input file okay now just leave it alone like that and go in teach screen okay so this receive button which is button 6 all uh, okay and then you can just copy your old read records okay so that it could be easy so read records student and set text in text area 1 Okay, do this these changes, and the game is complete. So I hope you had fun in this session. Okay, so please subscribe to our channel if you like the video. Then give it a like, and uh, if you have just watched this video, then watch the part one also to make this lifetime teaching app. So bye everyone.